Hey guys, it's Mark with Hallmark Pool Supplies. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about pressure leaks. Now, this is a sequel to some videos that I've already made uh, in how to find a leak in your pool. If you guys haven't checked out part one, two, or three, I'll post links down below for those of you that wanna check it out. But in part one, we talk about general leaks, the three types of leaks. There are structural leaks, there's suction leaks, and there's pressure leaks. In part two, I talk about structural leaks and I cover all the different topics pertaining to structural. In part three, we talk about suction leaks and I show all the different topics on that as well. In this video, we're gonna be talking about pressure leaks. What is a pressure leak? A pressure leak, if you remember after seeing part one, pressure leaks are leaks in pools that happen to leak more when they're on as opposed to when they're off. So the first thing we want to check, and I mentioned this in part one, is water leaking out of your backwash. When a pool is running in filter and it's leaking out of the backwash, it's obviously under pressure and you can lose water. And so it is classified as a pressure leak and it is one of the more common leaks. So let's get that out of the way and make sure that we're not leaking out of the backwash. And if you go out to your pool and it's running in filter and there's no water going out of the backwash, then we're good. So if you guys come out and find out that you are leaking out of the backwash while it's running in filter, then obviously we need to look at your multiport valve. This is a Hayward valve. It's a 714 valve on a Hayward system. I have made videos in regards to key assembly replacement for top mount, side mount, and I've also made a video on general maintenance and repair of a multiport valve on your Hayward uh, filter. And I will post links on those videos down below for those of you that want to check that out. So when we talk about pressure leaks, we're talking about water going back to the pool, a return line. For an example, all pools have return lines, and this is where the water is coming back into the pool. This is definitely considered a pressure line because it's under pressure when the pool is running. And if a pressure line is broke, such as a return line, you will lose more water when it's on as opposed to when it's off. Besides return lines, some pools have water features like deck jets, maybe you have a slide, maybe there's a fountain, maybe there's a waterfall on the pool. All of these things are dealing with pressure because it's all on the lines going back to the pool and these items run as the system is running. So they're all under pressure. Now in some pools, we can plug the returns and we can isolate them from other water features. Sometimes, for an example, a slide line is tied in with a return line. So if it's tied in, and it's not separated, we can't isolate it by itself. So there's different procedures for that. But what we'll do is we're gonna talk about the return line first. And if we notice that we are leaking more water on as opposed to off after we've done our 24 hour test that I mentioned in part one, then what we wanna do is we wanna turn the pool off. We wanna unscrew the return eyeball and it comes out just as such. And this is what you have left in the wall. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a plug that's a threaded O-ring plug, inch and a half, 1022C, and we stick this in and we tighten it. And it only has to be hand tight because there is an O-ring, so this way that'll seal it. And of course, if you have more than one return, we wanna plug all of them. You can't just plug one because if you leave another return open, they are tied together and your pool will still be leaking. So we're gonna plug this and with all the return lines plugged, then we're going to let it sit for 24 hours. We're going to mark the pool, see where we're at. 24 hours later, we come back. And if we notice that the pool is still holding, then that tells me we've pretty much got a pressure leak. You would now be able to call a pool professional. They could come out. They could help uh, isolate that leak and find out where in the return line it's broke because you've already done the homework. They don't have to make multiple trips costing time and money. So what they'll do is they'll leave the return line plugged and some companies will pressure test by putting air in the line. That's another way to find out if, if the line is holding air, if, if, it, if there's a break. And some companies have equipment like sonar where they can actually go out and detect where it's leaking, dig it up and make that repair. So usually when we get in, in situations like this, the homeowner will call a pool professional because it is a little bit more complex 
uh, digging it up and making that repair or even finding it. But as long as you can isolate what's leaking, that will help them in regards to fixing your pool. And if you have uh, water features such as deck jets, a slide, a fountain, a waterfall, those are items that can also be isolated because they're probably tied in with the return. In some cases, if you have a waterfall, uh, it could be completely separate from the return in the pool. And if we plug the return and find out that the pool is not leaking, we don't even have to check the slide line or the waterfall or the deck jets because we now know that it's not leaking because we've plugged the return and it's holding. So these are just simple steps, process of elimination for us to be able to find a leak and make that repair. So hopefully this video was helpful and for you guys that are still unsure and you're not sure what kind of leak you have, definitely check out the other videos. Like I said before, I did post a link down below. Uh, be glad to help. If you have any questions, comment down below or contact me. Definitely hit the like and subscribe button for future content. For those of you hitting the thanks button, I definitely appreciate it. All the donations that I get for that definitely go to the video production of this channel, which makes it possible for me to make these videos for you guys. I do appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget us at Hallmark Pool Supplies for all your pool needs. My name is Mark and I'll see you guys on the next video.